Hey folks, Jackto here, get ready to embark on an epic character exploration as we dive into potential companions for our next quest in Dragon Age Dreadwolf. From the very pages of Tevinter Knight's 2D latest comics, a diverse group of powerful mages, crafty rogues and mighty warriors await in Thedas. Each of them bring unique skills, captivating stories and a hint of mischief to our battle against the Dreadwolf. Today I'm introducing or reintroducing you all to a host of potential candidates who could become invaluable members of our new heroes crew in Dread Wolf. So let's dive right in and make sure you let me know all of your favourites down below. First up we have Miveris Talani, of course a highly regarded magister and formidable mage who has proven her worth by assisting Alistair, Isabella and Varric in their quest to find King Marek. May's remarkable intellect led her to uncover crucial information on Magister Aurelian Titus and collaborating with Dorian Pavis, Miveris formed the Lucerne Group, dedicated to redeeming the tarnished reputation of Dvinter. Currently stationed in Manrafis, Maeve focuses on matters concerning the city. With her extensive network of connections, extraordinary magical abilities and influential political standing, Maeveris Talani stands as an invaluable ally in the heart of Dvinter's power struggles. Next up we have Audric Felhossen. A deceased Navarran guardsman trapped between spirits becomes a captivating and potential companion given his rare state. Audric's knowledge of Navarran culture, even his guardsman skills and his communion with spirits provide deep insights into the ethereal forces in the Dragon Age realm. Teaming up with Morn Watcher Myrna, Audric confronts a malevolent pride demon possessing Lord Khan's body. His current nature could be highly valued as a steadfast ally against many supernatural threats lurking in Thedas. Next we have Sten. The Arashok of the Cunari possesses extensive knowledge about his people and offers invaluable insights to the next hero. As a trusted advisor, he can provide intelligence on the Kune, the current invasion and Fen Harel, as currently the Ben Hasraf are one of the few factions who have the most knowledge on Fen Harel's scheme. Moreover, if Sten were to join the next hero's party as an Arashok, he would bring formidable fighting skills and there would even be potential for a captivating romance storyline. Given his esteemed position as the Cunari's leader, his return is eagerly anticipated and would have such a significant impact for our next hero. Next up, Irulan. Now you can probably tell that we are going in mage, rogue and warrior order and continuing that Irulan is a Dalish shapeshifting mage who played a crucial role in rescuing Strife and Mirian from Cunari imprisonment. Joining forces with Strife after she formed the Veil Jumpers, an elite faction countering the perils of the Arlafan forest. With exceptional combat and exploration skills Irulan's deep bond with nature and her own shapeshifting abilities make her invaluable. Irulan and the Veil Jumpers recently discovered a powerful stone that the Dread Wolf himself took, raising many concerns of its reality altering potential. Committed to protecting the forest and halting Solas's chaos, Irulan stands as a steadfast ally determined to quell the impending threat. Next up we have Vadis, a former Tevinter Altis turned crafty thief who defies societal expectations by pursuing a romantic relationship with Irene Cestus, her father's elven servant. As a rogue, Vadis immediately brings in exceptional dexterity, a agility and street smarts to the group. Her knowledge of the Dvinter Imperium, including its politics, hidden places and criminal underworld, proves invaluable. And with her altus background, Vadis seamlessly navigates high society and interacts with nobility, granting the party access to exclusive information and many unique opportunities. Additionally, Vadis is one of the few currently who has hands-on experience dealing with Fen Harel's agents. She's also recently connected with Varric. Next we have Strife, a brave and determined Starkhaven elf who left the alien age after defying a guard, symbolising his unwavering commitment to fighting for elven rights. His affiliation with a Dalish clan further solidifies his dedication to preserving elven heritage, and the creation of the Veil Jumpers alongside Irulan showcases Strife's ongoing bravery and pursuit of justice. His unwavering loyalty, resourcefulness and resistance against oppression are exemplified through his shared captivity with Mirian under the Cunari and their successful escape. With exceptional skills in survival and guerrilla tactics, Strife emerges as either a formidable warrior or rogue, either way being a vital asset in combat situations. Next we have Morn Watcher Myrna. Entrusted with guarding Navarra's grand necropolis, Myrna holds deep knowledge of death, magic and ancient rites. She played a pivotal role in Audric's own self-discovery journey, revealing his true nature and offering access to the esteemed necropolis library. Myrna herself is a custodian of profound knowledge and necromantic art 
that. And she maintains the delicate balance between life and death, making her for an absolutely, truly worthy death mage ally. Coming in next, we have Lucanus della Morte and Ilario della Morte, depending on their fates. Both are esteemed master assassins of the Antivan Crows, offering unparalleled expertise and prowess to the new heroes ensemble. Lucanus himself is known as the demon amongst the Venatori ranks, as he is unmatched in stealth, combat and espionage, with his own fearsome reputation and trail of 40 dead among the Venatori. Lucanus excels in navigating political intrigue, gathering crucial information and executing precise strikes on high-valued targets as you'd expect with a crow, especially one said to be the next first talon. However, his very enigmatic nature adds to the suspense surrounding his uncertain mortality because we don't know if Lucanus is currently dead. Meanwhile, Alario, cousin to Lucanus, is also destined to become the first talon of the Antivan Crows, especially if Lucanus is indeed dead. And as a seasoned master assassin, Alario also brings exceptional skills in assassination, intelligence gathering, and infiltration to the hero's party. I, Videla Morte, would be an invaluable friend to our new hero, we just need to see what's going on with Lucanus. Ramesh, a senior Grey Warden who recently led an expedition in search of senior Warden Jovis, this expedition exposed Ramesh to elven ruins with twisted blighted creatures, where Ramesh witnessed the horrifying fusion of Jovis with a diabolical entity. This encounter also enlightened Ramesh about the effects of a mystical grey pool, fueling his determination to save Fadus from these remaining twisted creatures. His extensive knowledge of the Grey Wardens, the Blight, and this recent experience with these diabolical creatures make him a valuable advisor and strategist. Mirian, a Tevinter mage from Ventus who defies the typical Magister path, born a slave, his magical abilities granted him Tevinter citizenship. Recently rescued by the Veil Jumpers from the Cunari Ansam, Mirian offers a unique perspective. His experience as a former slave and understanding of Tevinter's power dynamics enrich the group's dynamic. Additionally, his presence introduces key figures like Strife and Irelen. Next up, Vaya, a Ferelden elven rogue and squire to Sir Aaron who sets out on a mission to halt the Venatori's creation of Red Lyrian warriors. Along her path, Vaya was set out to meet King Alistair to bestow upon her the historic knighthood as the realm's first ever elven knight. With exceptional skills in stealth, thievery and deep knowledge of Ferelden's terrain, Vaya is an indispensable asset in our new quest and a valuable companion for any kind of heist. Next we have Barv, a scarred and hunched dwarven lord of fortune who excels in treasure hunting, Barv's resilience and survival skills shine as he retrieved a powerful amulet during a risky heist, albeit losing his partner Herald in the process. With his rugged demeanour and propensity for risk taking, Barv's character offers potential for compelling personal quests and dynamic interactions within the group. Next we have Sidoni, a formidable mortal Atassi mage from Navarra who brings extensive wisdom in death magic and clandestine traditions. As an agent of the Inquisition tasked with investigating the breach, Sidoni showcases unwavering commitment to countering imminent perils. Her involvement also forges connections between our new protagonist and revered figures like Cassandra Pentagast, who could potentially be the Divine. Next we have Philem. Renowned as Philem, a bard, Philem Trevelyan's literature and artistic prowess enhance the hero's entourage. With remarkable storytelling, diplomacy and a charismatic persuasion, Philem deftly navigates social and political intricacies, influencing key individuals. As a bard, Philem's connections and insider knowledge reveal hidden truths and foster captivating interactions, adding plenty of depth and also many fun tales to our new hero's journey. Next we have Grey Warden Evka Ivo, a member of House Ivo who defies tradition by joining the Grey Wardens and living up on the surface. Evka's courageous choice signifies a willingness to face new challenges and combat the Blight. With three years of service as a Grey Warden, Evka brings valuable experience in battling Darkspawn and safeguarding Thedis. Her expertise in the Deep Rose, knowledge of Dwarven history and connection with Ozma provide invaluable insights into the underground world and the political dynamics of the Dwarven Kingdoms. Additionally, she's also currently entangled in a romantic relationship with her elven Warden partner, Antoine. I'm definitely curious to see where that romance is gonna go. Next, we have Neve Gallus, a mage and esteemed private investigator in Manrafis who brings invaluable skills to our hero. Her expertise in uncovering secrets, solving mysteries, and navigating the city's shadows prove indispensable. With reputation preceding her, Neve boasts unparalleled connections through Tevinter's capital. Her affiliations extend from Tharic Tethras to the enigmatic Shadow Dragons, a devoted faction seeking to liberate slaves across the Imperium. These associations amplify Neve's value as an ally, providing insights, resources and potential influential allies for our shared mission. Next we have another double whammy, being Viago de River and Andratia Cantori. Both again esteemed members
members of the Antivan Crows bring their invaluable expertise and skills to the new hero's party. As the fifth Talon, Viago is adept at covert operations, navigating political landscapes and securing vital information and allies like Varric and Scout Lace Hadding. His mission involves informing Antivan royals about the Cunari War and recruiting additional talents, shaping the future of the Antivan Crows and also potentially the new hero's party. Accompanying Viago is Tia, the seventh Talon who excels in stealth, reconnaissance and gathering information. Having successfully thwarted Emile Cortez's scheme, Tia's knowledge of Antivan politics and her role as an Antivan Crow make her additionally a formidable rogue and a reliable ally. Lastly for this list we have Gat, an elven agent of the Cunari Ben Hasraf who possesses valuable knowledge regarding the schemes of Fen Horel. By recently sharing Ben Hasraf information with our Tevinter thief Varys, Gat demonstrates a willingness to form alliances and cooperate with unlikely allies given the circumstance. Recognising the need for further information and potential work, Gat suggests that Varys seek a dwarf in Kirkwall, which additionally connects Gat with Varric. And Gat also brings expertise in espionage along with in-depth knowledge of the Qunari Ben Hasruf. His proficiency in infiltration, subterfuge and intelligence gathering provides invaluable in navigating treacherous situations and uncovering hidden truths, especially surrounding Ben Harrell's scheme. Having explored specific companions from various classes being mage, rogue and warrior, I now have a few additional rapid predictions to share that are not particularly specific to any given category. First up we have a dog or a griffin. A loyal and powerful animal companion of course, either having a faithful dog or a majestic griffin that we can ride. Either aiding in battle or exploration, offering many unique abilities and of course an emotional connection that hopefully we can pat on the head. Next we have Charter, of course our infamous elven inquisition agent who plays a vital role in Liliana's spy network. During a mission in Navarra, Charter was shocked when the Dreadwolf appeared in person. Charter has been deeply involved with the Inquisition's Dreadwolf scheme and possesses insightful information about the Dreadwolf's plans, making her an indispensable asset in our new hero's quest. Next we have Harley Kuhn, a nickname given to a formidable Lady Cunari companion that could either be skilled in the arts of combat, stealth or magic, who cares, we all just want a Lady Cunari companion to join our new hero's party. I would like a Mortalitasi skeleton, a member of the Mortalitasi, be it the Morn Watch, who can provide unique abilities and knowledge about death magic and also the Mortalitasi's secretive practices. I also think it would just be fun to have like, you know, a skeleton walking around doing our bidding, helping us out. Be cool to see, wouldn't it? Next we have an executor, a mysterious and enigmatic character who we know speaks on behalf of powers across the sea. Their roles and abilities remain shrouded in secrecy, adding plenty of intrigue and enigma to the group's dynamic. Equally, really want to get behind and see what is lurking behind their robes. I think it'd be really cool if we had one joining us on the front lines. Next up, Felisan, an elven companion possibly tied to the ancient elven lore and mythology and specifically tied to Solas in the past, who offers profound insights into the world's history and the struggles faced by the elven people. Would be brilliant to get behind the mind of Felisan and hear his side of the story regarding what happened back in the ancient elven days. Next we have Holix, a skilled member of the Lords of Fortune from Ravain, who would be an invaluable addition to our new hero's party as they have experience in treasure hunting, dungeoneering and disguise. Holix navigates social complexities and dangerous encounters effortlessly as they can can basically dress up as anybody they want to. I think that'll be pretty cool to have on our side. But ultimately we have an elven god. Who doesn't want to have an elven god such as Andrul or Falandin or somebody else in the elven pantheon who hates Solas just enough to join our new hero. It would be brilliant to dive into the realm of their divine powers and offering a deeper understanding of the complex situation surrounding what the hell happened back in the ancient days. Why did they kill Mafal? Probably very unlikely that one of them is going to be willing to join our new hero on unless they're, you know, going to kill Solas and then want to kill us straight after, still could definitely be possible and I would love to see it. And lastly we have Sandal, a man of few words who possesses extraordinary talents in prophecy and a master of dwarven runes. With his remarkable abilities, he would make an immensely powerful and viable ally in the imminent battle to come against the Red Wolf, considering he is the one who foreshadowed it in the first place. Let's have him join us on the front lines too. In conclusion, this exploration of potential companions in Dragon Age Red Wolf has revealed a a captivating array of potential allies. From many significant mages, crafty thieving rogues and mighty warriors, each of these characters would bring invaluable qualities to the new hero's party. Some of them may join as advisors, some of them may just be NPCs in the world, while some of them hopefully will directly join our new hero's squad. As we eagerly anticipate the unfolding adventure of Dreadwolf, a few questions remain for you all. Who do you want to join our new hero's crew? Why specifically? What would they bring to the table? What secrets will they uncover? What captivating stories could they tell? With Bounty
boundless possibilities and the fate of fades at stake, Dreadwolf surely promises to be an epic and thrilling journey with many brilliant characters to offer. Let me know all of your thoughts down below which characters particularly pique your interest, which would you like to romance, I want to hear every single thing you're thinking. But of course, you're already in the right place for the latest on Dreadwolf. And until the next one, I have been Jackdaw and I should go! Whoa, 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 whoa